Hey there, tennis fans. I'm James Watterson, and I've got your Tennis Now Tennis News from day 10 of the U.S. Open. Once again, matches have been canceled because of rain. This is the second day matches have been postponed because of the weather. U.S. Open organizers seem keen on getting players on the court this morning, uh, despite the surface still being a little slick because of a fine mist that arrived earlier in the day. The players seemed to have a real problem with this, but they took to the court anyway. They warmed up and played for about 15 minutes before heavier rain fell, which ultimately kept them off of the court all day. That was just enough time for Donald Young to take a 2-1 lead against Andy Murray, Andy Roddick to go up 3-1 against David Ferrer, and Jill Mueller to earn an early break to go up 3-love against Rafael Nadal. Of the players who went out there earlier, Nadal seemed to have a real problem with being asked to play in those conditions. He said, quote, Grand Slams is about a lot of money. We're part of the show. They're just working for that, not for us. They know it's still raining and call us onto the court. That's not possible. I understand the fans are there, but the players are important in this part of the show too, and we don't feel protected. Other players, including Murray and Roddick, chimed in as well. Although the players are disgruntled, the rain creates a real problem for the rest of the week. There are still some fourth round matches that need to be played, while other players could be playing their quarterfinal matches in the same day. It gives quite a big advantage, so we could be looking at another Monday final, but the USTA hasn't actually said anything about that yet. Now in other news, three high-profile players have been nominated for induction into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Jennifer Capriati, Yevgeny Kafelnikov, and Gustavo Kerton are among the nominees for the highest honor in tennis. All three are former world number ones and multiple Grand Slam winners. Capriati won three major titles, two Australian Open and one French Open, and she is known as the youngest ever player to reach the semifinals of the French Open, which she did at 13 years old. Kafelnikov is Russia's first player to be ranked number one. He won the 1996 French Open and the 1999 Australian Open, and he's won a total of 53 singles and doubles titles. Meanwhile, Brazil's Querton, who is the first South American player to end a year as the top-ranked player, won three French Open titles. Now, a panel of international tennis media will vote on whether these players get in or not, with 75% vote needed for induction. The induction ceremony will be held on July 14th. Moving on to some Davis Cup news. France has been dealt a serious blow in its bid to reach the Davis Cup final as Gael Monfils has pulled out of his country's tie against Spain. Monfils lost in a long five-setter against Juan Carlos Ferrero in the second round of the US Open last week, and his coach said the summer grind necessitates a 15-day rest. France still has a pretty good shot of advancing as they still have Richard Gasquet, Joe Wilfried Sanga, and Michael Yodra. By all accounts, a pretty stacked team. The tie will take place in Cordoba, Spain from the 16th to the 18th of September. And that'll do it from us folks, hopefully the rain will go away and we'll be able to see some great tennis tomorrow. If so, make sure to follow the results on our website at www.tennisnow.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for up to the minute news and match updates. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.